Seven. Uh, uh, I don't no. know what time I was born either. I I mean, they're not, not for you. For you? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's. All of y'all are so pretty. I love y'all. Y'all pretty. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Girls are so pretty, y'all. You guys are. Ooh, you're so pretty. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I can't wait till I can drink again, man. High falls. Hey, okay. 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 four, five. Let's have a six some. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, let's go. A gay party. You know, good I'm there. <laughs> Thank you. That's embarrassing. Guys, I don't even like being in those freaking. In- the winning host may propose funny. That's stuff. why y'all not getting no more ass. Because why y'all let us let them drag us? Yeah, I don't like being in- Hi guys. Hi, 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 Here you go. We got some music going. Next round. How you say it's up with me? You would think I went to school for chiropractic. <laughs> they not sending gifts. I'm not giving them a gas. Play uh, Lindo's song. You like his music. Like the vibe. Yeah. He's y'all. Yeah. Like him. Like him. Well, he plays some good music? Yeah, play. Um, I forgot what it's called. It's one of his big ones. I'm sitting here about to make my fingers. Sorry, my fingers. <laughs> Thank you, Otto. You probably don't remember when you followed me like a year ago because I used to fuck with your music real hard. I do. I remember you, Jada. Yeah, I was gonna say because I've been fucking with your music. Like I still. Do. I know you went crazy. You started getting your own following now. Yeah. <laughs> where he from? I don't know where he's from. I'm from Florida. Okay. What's his phone call? Just look up window, baby. And I'll show you what song is my favorite, personally. Let me see. Go to his music. Right there, I think right it's here? that one. Click on that one. I don't think it's that one, though. He on this world one star? when he's on Island Boys. The- he on World Star? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. This is a good song. And he can actually sing, you know, he can actually rap. Yeah, this is the song. This is it. Yeah. Man, what's what's going on with that one girl? Which one? That one girl you've been posting. No, not her. Hey, Koi? Yeah. She been hanging out with fucking, you know who, Memphis. Yeah, I know. (laughs) So she called me. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, she kind of looked like she kind of acting weird recently. She literally was calling me while she was with him and stuff. But then recently, I don't know. She be acting like 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 she got all type of clout now. Like what the hell? I didn't hear nothing you just said. I said Are she, you the drunk one? No, I'm sober. She acting like she got like clout or something. Now. I don't know. <laughs> right, boy. Whole time, if y'all really want to be honest, people are stupid for believing that Coco and Memphis fucking shit. They are still together. They're just doing that shit for clout. Yeah, I no, think they they are. Yeah, I think they are. But that's them. If that's what they like to do for money, I guess. I mean, I would do the same. So, where in Florida are you from? Um, I'm from Port St. Lucie, Florida. It's a small place right above, like, Palm Beach in Miami. See, okay. that's where my dad's from, is Palm Beach. Where you at right now? Um, Illinois? Oh, yeah. Boring-ass uh, town. Yeah, I've been to Florida well, a few times, though. Might as well do another battle. Yeah, right. I'm probably not going to win, so... Got no one on here. So. Come on, y'all. Tap the screen. Tap the screen. Uh, I'm going to watch the video for the first time. Guys. I'm gonna watch... You know, I'll wait till after the live match, but I'm going to watch Staffy's video for the first time. i never seen huh? it before. Y'all got to share the live to him. Tell him I'm going to react to his video on live. All right. Wait. 
Wait, what are they talking <laughs> They say, tell you, stop playing with me. You need to stop playing, honey. Who, what is she talking about? I'm dead. She talking about me. That's honey. She be playing. Yeah, you know, that's she, honey. She's honey. You know, she not, she not serious. Stop playing, honey. Oh, is that that one girl that looks like... Uh, hey, Karen, thank you for the gift. She gave me I'm her first gift off. Off. Thank you, Otto. Karen, I just followed you, Karen. I'm trying to see who this honey girl is. Is that that one girl? I don't know her. She was talking to him. I think she might have came from his live. Oh. Honey, Thank you, honey, you don't send me a galaxy, bro. I'm cutting you off. <laughs> oh, well, he said he <laughs> cut you off. Honey, you it's said, $10. The galaxy. Honey, honey, it's ten dollars, bro. Make it mad. So you might as well send even me. Got a galaxy. Nah, I don't even you know send me three galaxies, honey, for real. Send me three galaxies, bro. For Make real. it mad. Do it to us. Thank you for the likes. I'm sick as hell. Everybody comment Galaxy. 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 Yo. He ain't never cut me off. D this for life. <laughs> oh, she said this for life. She said, fuck you. No, I'm pretty sure he's saying this is for life. Like, he's, she's talking about him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Somebody send a Galaxy, man. Come on. It's like $10, man. Go recharge. Send me a Galaxy. Send us the Galaxy, period. It's a thousand points, y'all. Come on, y'all. Send us the galaxy. What Fuck up, him, Emily? It's us. I'll Emily, take three shots. That... Emily, where'd that come from? What are you talking to? Ooh, what'd she say? I'm telling you, the Miranda. She said, she said like makeup that. is supposed to make you look better. What? Oh, she's talking about me, probably. Because we got yeah, makeup. Why are you talking shit, man? Period. I mean, you could tell I got makeup on, but at least I don't overdo this shit, like cake it on. So. I did today because I felt like it. Hey, Jaden. Huh? On a scale of 1 through 10, how up are you right now? Like up? Yeah. I'm tired. Mm. So I'm like well, you, one, a two. You look like... You look like you up. Like you look like you're not tired. Like like you said, you got your makeup on. You look good. Like she not tired. Um, oh, no, I could, I could go to sleep right now, but my sleep schedule is all fucked up. So I just been up. It's probably like one here. Y'all send us the galaxy. I'll take five shots. Plus, hey, I'm, like, I'm carrying a whole child, so like, yeah, I'm kind of tired. Yeah. I'm she real tired from that baby. For real. Okay, you do your shit. I see you on this music chair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't scared. To I told you I fuck with that song. Like, I actually, like, know that song. I'm gonna follow him and shit. Yeah, I'll follow you too. She would be on, uh, you know, TikTok live with me, but she... My phone did. No, her phone and she got suspended for no reason. I don't know. Yeah, they Everybody were moving. Oh, I got you got fifty seconds left. Come on, y'all, we're tied. I only got four people and they just staring. Send a rose. Send a rose to let us win. Girl, Girl, if you like it, my own screen, it's not gonna give me no like. Don't tell them. Come on, y'all, let's go, let's go. Is this an old song? Not that yeah, I was a little older. Yeah. Oh, who is that? Huh? Toby? That was... I don't know how long ago it was. Can't see. Hey, I'm Jess with the bros. Thank you, thank you. Oh, he winning, yes, y'all. <laughs> You're just going to let him win like that? All right, Jaden, I'm going to join back with you in a couple minutes. I'm going to watch the video. Y'all, you're, you're cool. All right, we're going to check out this video, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. If it's what I think it is, I usually do not like being in videos like these. So we
You gonna check it out, man. Because I'm trying to keep my record clean, you feel me? Let's see, though. We got a new one. Nah, don't call me yet. Don't call me yet. After. After this, in 10 minutes, you can call me. I'd fuck me. All right. Hello. Welcome to the show. Oh, a little bit far oh, away. Let's listen. Let's look. By that intro, I'm sure you can tell who what we're going to be talking about today. The one, the only 954 Enzo. Yeah. But we're going to be calling yes. him by his real name, and that is Lorenzo Piro. Hey. Imagine you had a beautiful baby boy and you gave him everything he could ever dream of. And then when he got to about the age of 16, he just started talking like a fucking idiot. And you had no idea. What? All them niggas come up to the car, you're scared, pussy. You getting motherfucking uh, what? And you just want to go, why are you talking like that, son? That is basically 954 Enzo and the story of him and his family. Born on the 3rd of November 2001, Lorenzo Piro was the youngest of three. Lorenzo had a happy, energetic personality and a loving family. Growing up in Pembroke Pines, Florida and attending Pembroke Pines Charter School, later moving to Port St. Lucie, also in Florida, Lorenzo seemed to be just like a normal kid playing video games, in particular Counter-Strike, and complaining about homework. Yeah, all good. I'll call you right back. Let me battle you in like two minutes. I'm gonna restart. Oh, okay, all right. She's not locked over here. There's nobody locked over here. Hold on, yeah. and enjoy. Lorenzo's siblings seem to lean more towards the academics. His sister becoming an aesthetician She's so and pretty. his older brother going off to Florida State University. By his late teens, Lorenzo had discovered his talent as an entertainer and now Instagram Live And TikTok are Lorenzo's entire life. Nigga, I, I entertain people. I, I, I get money off Instagram. I make a thousand bucks a week. Let me tell you a little bit about Pembroke Pines, where Lorenzo is from. What is special about Pembroke Pines? Well, it's the recipient of many awards, including All America City. Pembroke Pines is known for its commitment to the arts and culture, its outstanding schools, and its exciting South Florida lifestyle for all ages, cultural diversity, numerous parks, and forward thinking in an ever-changing world. Now, isn't that interesting? Now let's compare that with young Lorenzo. Obviously, he's very diverse. What? Okay, let me tell you something first so you don't get upset with me. I read on a Reddit forum that if I do impressions of a European person, it's totally fine even though I'm a white guy. I, I have some European blood anyways. So whatever, okay? <laughs> So Lorenzo's background is Italian, and so you might expect him to talk like It's a me, Lorenzo! I'm here to cut your hair! Ah. Whatever. But instead, he's affected a completely different personality for himself with this language that he's created. Like this. I like it. You got me tripping, boy. Yeah, you ain't trying to stuff on my life, boy. You got me. You got the wrong one, boy. Why don't you, boy? And some people do find it offensive. Other people just realize that he is mentally challenged. <laughs> nah, you don't make fun of it. I'm just being real. Now, somewhere Where along are... the way, Lorenzo has found one or two friends. One of those friends is basically the bane of my existence. I cannot stand the guy, even though he is a fan of the show, and that is Fly Soldier. Stop, I'm a big fan of yours. If you don't know who Fly Soldier oh is, he's a guy who begs on TikTok for money and made his whole career. Well, y'all know I fucking don't like Fly Soldier or Enzo. On Instagram. I made a video about it, but I think I'm nearly ready to make another one. I hate him. No, wait, don't include that, but I'm not that bit.
No hate here on Stuffy Cat whatsoever. He does go and hang out with Fly every now and then. I can't believe I'm calling him Fly. Alex, he goes and hangs out with Alex every now and then. And they hang out, make TikToks together. And I'm not sure what else they do. If I speculate, it might come across as a little homophobic. <laughs> So I'm not going to say anything. His other friend that I saw him find on the internet, I'm not sure how, I've tried to find out, I think they just kind of saw each other basically, is a guy known as Green Hat Guy Matt. Whatever, uh, no big deal. Like I said, no big deal. And this guy, at the very start of their relationship, their friendship, I'm gonna match you. Let me restart my live. I'm gonna match you. Right. Okay, okay. Literally two words. watching this together, y'all. The whole You felt like each time he told Lorenzo off for talking the way he does or saying he needs to pull his pants up. It really felt like an older brother looking out for their younger sibling. Why do you say it? You're not black. Watching Lorenzo and green hat guy Matt at the very beginning was actually a beautiful moment. It was really cool to see these two guys who are polar opposites in every single way. One guy caring about his looks and the views, being Lorenzo of course, and another guy really being kind of smart and funny without trying. Uh, it cared nothing about the views. It was really interesting to see them bond together and eventually become quite good friends. And it felt like you could start to see Lorenzo grow as a person. However, this friendship would be torn apart by drama. Matt, even Enzo's in the live for me to get off. That's true. Oh, that's fuck weird to think. Enzo's out of the damn line. I don't know how to talk to Enzo. I don't know how to do this ever again. Okay, but at least he's your friend telling you to get off. He's not my friend, I gave him a shit talk to that, he's not my friend, I don't talk with him and also drugs, I think, played a bit of a part in the reason that these two guys can't really seem to hang out anymore. No, when did you make you do that? No, that's not, that's, you, know, you know that's a kill you, right? What do you think, Joey? He lied to you. It doesn't have the same feel about it because before it was like Matt telling Lorenzo something and looking after him in a way. Now it feels like a bit of corruption and it's not the same funny feeling that it had before. Personally for me, this fucking sucks because I love watching these two guys get together back in the old days, like a year and a half, two years ago. It's beyond funny. Moving on to Lorenzo's rap career and music game, or the other way around. I'm not sure. Of course, Lorenzo has dabbled in the rap game because he's on Instagram and all these little fuckers seem to do the same shit. Let me give you a taste of one of his amazing freestyles. She a hoe. I don't give a fuck about these hoes. They so low. It go blip black fucking on your hoe. In the witch, like the taste of my dick. Cheating on your ass. She be fiending for that Enzo all night long. As you can see, a lovely song, a family-friendly song, something you can just put on in the background, or maybe an elevator kind of song. I don't give a fuck, fatty hoe, they so low. It go blit, black, fuck it on your hoe. In the witch, like the taste of I'm my dead. dick. Cheated on your ass, she be feeling for that as a Hey, I don't blame her. I be doing the same thing now. You gotta understand, man, it comes to a point where you gotta protect yourself, man. Think about it, they're always recording us, and they're always doing the same thing, so. Not everyone's cup of tea. The reviews were not amazing or pleasant at all, by any means, actually. But that's okay, because Lorenzo went on. He, he definitely learned from his mistakes and went on to make a much, much better song called Carrot Gang. I'll give you a small taste of that one now as well. Carrot Gang, 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 Carrot Gang. This song seems to have come about when Lorenzo was actually assaulted with a carrot at a party and I can't work out if he assaulted himself with the carrot or 
maybe someone else did it. If someone else, I applaud Lud by the event. And okay, I don't know. That's kind of not true. He basically, the whole carrot thing was because he, he fingered himself with a carrot. Making it into a song. Carrot gang, carrot gang, carrot gang, carrot gang. Uh, want her on the phone, but they really don't want no smoke. My can't tell you I'm jugging for the low. He supposedly had some merch coming out that Vume had organized. <laughs> Amazing. And that was because basically <laughs> his whole image turned into carrots after he showed a clip of this on his own live of him pooing himself after having a carrot in his ass. Still to this very day, Lorenzo's chats are inundated with carrots actually. And that is about the most sense you do get out of his <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. And, um, yeah. He did do one more song. This time he collaborated with a guy named Lindo. If you don't know who that is, I'm not surprised at all. Even though this man has 4 million followers, he struggles to get 20 or 30 likes on a post. Hey, how, how you got? Yo, that's fucking hilarious. 4 million followers, but I got more views on my live. How that make sense, man? Stop buying bots, guys. Just get there by yourself. It's fucking stupid any oh my gosh this is fucking crazy people actually believe this not here to talk about lindo but i do have my eye on you brother here's a little taste of lorenzo's song that he did with lindo suck on my dick what the fuck you really talking about i'm just trying to make my mama proud yeah, suck my dick. Suck my dick. i'm gonna get lit suck my dick Hey, what the fuck you really talking about? I'm just really trying to... Alright, I'm gonna give you... I don't know, are you still watching, bro? You're trying to make my mama proud. I'm in LA right now. You proud, mom? I'm so proud of you, my son. What? Okay, let's talk about the amazing lovers that he's had. Actually, let's just talk about one, because all the others are basically the fucking same anyway. You know her, you hate her. I am, of course, talking about Xena, the b b b, -b witch Okay, now, when these two first got together, we were all heating our popcorn up in the microwave and getting ready for the next instalment every day when they go live, because it was a fucking disaster piece, and I... Uh, I'm gonna talk to you after this, bro. Alright, so stay on. We got five minutes left. Loved it. Soon get another installment of these two together because I've seen them talking again since Xena broke up with Check My Star, another friend and fan of the show. Really, this time. Now, even me, with all my film talent and YouTube what? creator stuff that I do and my millions of subscribers, okay. could not have directed a better film or love story than what these guys depicted on our screens live every day. But I'm not hurting him. You tried to put me in jail five times. Who does that? It's something that you have on. I don't care, call an ambulance. I'm gonna give you a brief recap of the Zenzo love story now, but you might wanna put some depends on because this is gonna get hotter than the time that your mum watched Magic Mike. <laughs> Number one, let's talk about the time that Xena turned up at Lorenzo's dad's house, then called the police to tell them that she'd been robbed right in front of Lorenzo's dad's security camera. So convenient it was. Uh, yeah, uh, what are you talking about? I've been robbed, right? Y'all heard that? In my fucking underwear. Are you goddamn serious? Beautiful. Number two, what about the time she chased after Lorenzo with a knife? Hey, can, hey, can you stop that shit? Do it again, bitch. Scary, bitch. Scary, bitch. That's why you're running, bitch. Oh, you scared, bitch. Scary ass bitch. Oh God, who could forget cheeky bugger, hey? Number three, there is of course the time when she doxed Lorenzo and his little dad, and then Lorenzo decided he would go on live and cry about the situation as a way to fix the problem, telling everyone that he'd just been doxed, leading to everyone to go and watch that video. I blocked her for three days straight. She exposed my address. I brought her out my damn bill. Oh, you butt, nigga. 
But I brought this girl around my dad. She exposed his address. Like, I don't even give a fuck. Nigga, I'm at the address right now, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Like, it's a fact, it's the fact of it. It's like real life shit. It's like if you get close to somebody, bro, it's like, damn, you feel me? Like, why the fuck they gonna come around and try to bite you in the ass? Cause they around their homegirls. On my mother, fam, like in person, she don't act like this. She don't, I, I'm not going to regret this. <laughs> In person. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. I'm not going to regret this. One more part of their love story was the time when it had just come to an end. And Zena thought it would be a lovely parting gift for her oh, to mind. send a f she was thinking about him. I have felt genuine sorry and pity for this young man. The first time I actually saw him on live, he was dozing off. And I remember typing and saying, get off live, you know, like I actually felt bad for this guy. And then someone randomly joined his live and he told this girl to suck his dick in a very menacing way. And I decided that he was an asshole yeah. from that moment onwards. Lorenzo's disrespect doesn't just stop there. As soon as people join, this guy's live he will pounce on them and say something offensive often he'll say who are you or do you have a beefy pussy i was just curious like you got like a very beefy pussy excuse me with lorenzo not being able to speak properly look away from a mirror my hair like green Oh, no, I'm a sexist nigga, though. Fuck you talking about, bitch. And his terrible collection of jewelry. It is also interesting thinking of Lorenzo attacking these people with a disability when you know too well or wash his own clothes. You know his dad's doing everything for him. I think his dad has basically taken over as a carer for him at this point, which is good because, you know, he needs someone. Because Because ears than I have between my teeth. Okay, what is next for this young man? Guys, is my is my life still freezing? Let me know, man. Oh, the possibilities are quite literally ending. And one might think, what can this guy do? And the answer is nothing. I'll tell you what I'd like to see though. I would like to see him and his old buddy get back together, sober, and make content together. That I would really enjoy. I think it was an absolute pleasure watching those two together. What I think is more likely is we end up with maybe two carrots next time. Now, look, you guys know I have analytics, right? I can see that there's a bunch of you fuckers returning to watch my videos and you're not subscribed yet. Why? I can see that you like it. What are you doing? Subscribe already, please. Do the right thing. Don't be an asshole. Bro, what are you okay? talking about, man? I help you out and make you laugh, hopefully. Okay. Then you come here. Yeah. See you next time, okay? And share the video with all your hey, friends, bro, you family, loved ones. I don't care. Hi, right, bro, you still there? Well, that you don't like. You tell them about me, okay? You tell them how much you love me, how much you appreciate all the things I do for you. Tell them about me. All right, so like, comment, subscribe. More importantly, subscribe. Yeah, okay, you've had enough of my time now. You know, I have more important things to do. Oh, that would be lit to add on. Yo, 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 you still there? Yo, model Angelo. Angel, Angel, what up, model? Haven't seen you in a minute. I'm hearing about you, bro. Yeah, can you hear me? All right. No problem. You said change the screen so it could be bigger. How do I do that, y'all? How do I do that? Hold up. Mm. All right, so check me out. This is my first time hearing about you, man. And uh, how long have you been doing YouTube? What's that? 
How long you been doing too, bro? Uh, I only started like a month ago, properly. Not bad, man. You've been a thousand feet on some videos, filming, and uh, definitely Getting took it. your time to edit and, and really, they really explain everything. Bro, yeah, I'm not gonna you. lie, man. I just, I'm kind of, I kind of feel some type of way, man, that you said that um, he got four million <laughs> followers, he got bots, and he got, <laughs> it really from because, bro, <laughs> I know why you think that, bro. Oh, hey, yeah, I bet you hey, do. Who you followed first on uh, the Island Boys? Who do I follow? Island Boys, yeah. Everybody that knows me through the Island Boys has that same image or narration to me, but to be honest with you, I have receipts. Where I was bigger than the Island Boys and and when I first started going live. Yeah, yeah, no man, I I do I do actually know that. I I have seen a bit of your past already. Um, I did look back a, a fairly long way to see what you'd been doing to get those those uh, viewers, and I can see that you were doing some uh, content like couples content, right? That must have got you a fair bit. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff. The pranks stuff. Hey, you're not busy right now, right? I'm gonna chop it up with you a little bit. What? You you're like your Wi-Fi is really busy, shit, right? bro. Wi-Fi. Alright, can you hear me better? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna try chopping it up with you a little bit. You you busy right now or what? No man, I can talk for a little bit. Uh, yeah, bro. Um, and I, I, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I kind of like my name to be good. Like, I don't like to have like, like those videos. Like, so I don't even like shit like that on myself. But hey, man, come on, dude, that's up to you. But I, I personally don't. I don't have videos of of, of, of like that of me, and I like to keep it that way. But um, here, let's get to let me tell you my side. So if you do decide sure. to, yeah, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Go for it, man. My story Go for out it. All right, so look. I can't go. tell if you're muted right now or did you just stop talking? No, I'm going to give you the ice. Alright. So the very first time I ever went viral, bro, I was yeah. in, I was in high school. So I was a senior. This is my very first video that I went viral, and this was a lot of views back in the day on YouTube. Seven hundred. Yeah, of course. It was a curly hair, right? Now. Flash. Yeah, I've se I've seen that channel. Alright, look, the Island Boys. They're from. Um, I know them. While I was in high school, I known them in this time. Okay, their name was Playboy Frank. And um, I can't remember what Alex's name was, but that was the very first video Playboy Frank. They always wanted to be. They always wanted to be in my videos because I was getting a lot of girls at this time. That that, that must be true. Yes, I can imagine that. So look, I was doing videos like real life Smash Pass. They wanted to be in videos like this. Wanted yeah. So anyway, fast forward. Look, I'm doing video soldier. He's a rapper. You can look him up. I did shows with Wine W. Melly. This was all in high school. I was booking rappers like three thousand, five thousand. So I got a lot of followers out that way. Now, mm. we'll fast forward. So this is around the time where okay, look, baby girl job. I was doing my caught cheating prank, my gold digger prank. So now my numbers are getting bigger on TikTok. Now, I'm going to literally show you, this is when I started meeting the Island Boys. This is why I reached with the Island Boys. And you can literally see, hold up. So, best gold digger prank compilation. All right, 58,000, 334,000. First off, Enzo doesn't have a single YouTube video. Hold up. I'm going to talk my shit. This is all hard work right here. Enzo does get live views, but you get what I'm saying? I got views across all platforms. Anyways, let's keep it going. 
<laughs> oh, on my mother, this is the very first day I ever met Enzo. Was this day right here? I met him. Okay. I, I do it. It's one of it. Oh, that's that boxing. Yeah, all right. I've seen that. Because, bro. Like the Island Boys, but I thought Enzo was weird because I seen all that, you know, all that gay stuff, or whatever. Yeah. So I was like, all right, uh, I'm a boxing for a video because. Um, I just didn't think he could fight and I just thought it'd be good content and I didn't really like him, right? Did he already have followers then? He had 17,000 followers. I already okay. had over, I already had over 100,000. That's why, that's why he wanted to be in these videos and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, was yeah, more, yeah. it was more beneficial for him at this point. Got now, it. if you watch the video. Yeah, I've seen it. Another thing is, hold up. I didn't, for this video right here. I didn't talk to him. I never talked to him personally one on one before this video. The person that set this video up was this girl right here, Bianca. Because she knew both of us. She, she set this video up. <laughs> it's uh, it is actually a really funny video, though. Yeah, I know. I was actually watching it earlier. Yeah. She was not connected. <laughs> it, she was, he was hanging out with her. And, and she knew right. me through because she's from the same area as me. All okay. right. Now, after that, um, now I start getting into a live community. And hold up. Hold up real quick. I start getting into a live community, and you could tell I'm the odd one out, right? I got no face tattoos. I got no neck tattoos. I don't really like... I'm not talking like that. You were more of like a skater kid, right? That's how I started, yeah. Yeah. All right, hold up. I like this, though. I like this. We're going back in time, seeing the real Lindo. Damn, I'm not going to lie. I just got an account warning on my Instagram. Jesus. Really? Yeah, I just logged in and it told me I'm in risk of getting banned. Is that just from people like uh, randomly reporting you and stuff? No, nah, it's because it's because I've been posting more suggestive content. And I, oh right, yeah, you you do have a habit of that actually. Yeah, I should probably stop. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, so look. You need to invest in some real Wi-Fi. Is the Wi-Fi bad? <laughs> yeah, it's bad. What the hell? What are y'all? Slow down, slow down. Where the hell is it? Mm. Alright, I'm just gonna show you right here. Hold up. Alright, look, I literally explained it perfectly here. Look. Everything that you see from me, where I'm basically accept like letting them talk shit to me, was because I already knew. Okay, I want to work with these cats. You feel me? I want to do something far more productive. That's why you always see me trying to do YouTube videos with Enzo and Fly Soldier and music videos with them, because I never even thought the arguing shit was cool. It wasn't. I was never the best at it. None of it. Right. So the only reason why I even went through that bullshit. Was because you know I was trying to make it myself. You feel me? Did and you I'll find that? Did you find that once you like became part of that community? Did you find that it like sucked you in and it was really hard to get out? Yeah, because you can never stop responding because yeah, you, and there's always going to be more and more drama, and then they lie. Um, it's, it's really did it bad. hold you back? Like, do you feel like it? It's held you back? For sure, it's in my career because um, a lot of people. 
I definitely scare some people away because they think my image is the best because they see so much negativity and drama. So, yeah, I can see um, that. It's, it's weird like though. Like the company cape. Everybody, everybody that knows me in real life knows I'm really cool and they just know that I kind of like made some pretty bad decisions by going on live. So they fuck with me. Sometimes just on a private level, they just don't want to publicly fuck with me. And that's really what that is. Yeah, I guess like it's also like this, the, you kind of cemented it a little bit more when you're like doing music with Enzo and stuff. Like, it, but it was funny. Like, I, I, like, obviously those songs are a little bit trolly, right? Um, the Enzo one, yeah. I, I think me, has and, to have been. me and Red Song, I would say, is really good. You could take that song serious. Yeah, that's different, right? Uh, hold on. Why? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm like the big surgery most I feel like so if I never I see people like, for example, one of my boys. Hold on. I know this is. A, hold on, my fault. The new video that was my. It's the brand. <laughs> the godfather of TikTok or something. The godfather of marketing influencing. <laughs> nah, man. No. Man, I'm trying to find this shit, bro. It's important. It's all good, man. Rap music thing going on. And on top of that, you're laying out like blueprint influencers. Like, like videos. It's dope. Like, do you ever feel like sometimes like you like? Oh, media, movie, weird. He's cutting out, man. Like, I can't really hear it. Hold on. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna put back on Wi-Fi in a minute. Hold on. No, the phone's okay. No. It's the um, the computer I can't hear. No. All right. It's probably like right here. Let me see. I'll close that. I don't get mad about it. Yeah. If I get mad about it, like you said, I don't burn bridges. Right here. This is where it starts. Look. Oh, right, y'all. Check this out. Business opportunity came to me, and I went to them. They would, they would. They would ask, "What am I getting out of it, or is I not getting anything?" And they won't do it. If well, this is the real truth behind the island boys, behind the scenes, all this shit, bro. Hold up. No, it starts right here. Just when he asked me it. Hold on, they kind of lagged in the back. Hey, yo. All right. Hold on. You know, they're good. They got <laughs> But these certain people are not even... Yeah, they just... They want to take You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they do it to be, like, negative. Guys, right? I'm here with you guys right now. They're calling on my phone. You see, like, trying to get my mind. Yeah, when I was yeah, on that podcast, right? they were calling me. I appreciate that. That's time, bro. Yeah. So you know that? How you how you know the Island Boys? Like, like, what, what's that relationship? So, um, honestly, I knew the Island Boys before they were the Island Boys. Like, oh, I just knew of them. Like, Florida man, I'm just like real small. You know, everybody you know, really popular. Like, you know, through doing YouTube and stuff like that. So they actually hit me up a long time ago. I was on Snapchat. You know, it's funny, like, always had them on Snapchat, and they were like, yo, I want to be in your next YouTube video, I want to be in your next YouTube video. Never really, like, came through like that. 
All right, guys, just type in Is Lindo Baby Podcast and go to nine minutes. But basically, I explained everything at nine minutes, but check me out. So basically, bro, like I said, I wasn't really good at that whole live thing. Um, another thing that kind of made me look bad is um, not only did it make my image look bad, but it also made me look bad because they were just so much better at roasting than me. Like, they would just talk the worst shit to me, and I wouldn't have anything to say back. And it took me, like, a long time before I really was like, okay, I'm going to... I'm gonna start exposing shit to them because they don't play fair. You feel me? And then that's yeah. when, okay, if people come in and they don't really know all all the shit I had to take from them, it might look like I'm an ugly person. It might look like, damn, Lindo, you're talking so much shit about these people. But y'all really have to understand the real history and like how much shit I really took from them before I really even spoke up and said anything. You feel me? And um even on the back end, you know, they never made money and stuff like that. So I would always, like, hook them up, throw them little bread, give them little deals, stuff like that, let them stay in my crib in L.A. So, I mean, that's really that, man. And then, you know, obviously you see the whole drama with my ex hooking up with them. So it just got real bad, bro. And, it's, and I feel like <clears throat> I think it's bad, but there could be some positivity out of it because... You know, all the exposure and shit it gets me, whether it's negative or positive, I mean, it's still exposure, but that's really that. Well, yeah, man, like that's their rule, right? Their rule is just any, any publicity is good. I just want to be respected, yeah. though, you feel me? I don't, I don't really care because I've just done this for so long and I blew up so many people and shit that it's like, damn, bro, you feel me? I just want, I could do this without the hate, bro. I, I really can't. Yeah, but like, first of all, if I was ever going to make a video, it, it's not hate. <clears throat> like, they're fun videos, you know, like you had a laugh, right? Yeah, when I did the gold digger videos and shit, when I used to just do corny videos, one thing that I will say is when I started going live with them, they did kind of open my eyes on how corny things could look. But at the same time, I was corny and I was making a lot more money back then. I'm not going to lie. So it's sometimes it's good whenever like whenever what you think you're doing is cool, that's when you're gonna make the most money, bro. Even if right. everyone thinks it's lame, like, and I'm saying that even for your videos, bro. People think it's trash. Mm -hmm. Like people think, yo, what are you doing reviewing these kids, bro? Like get a life, bro. If you really like submerge yourself in what you're doing and you don't even know what other people think about you, that's when you go mm -hmm. the craziest. When I when I when I was doing Baby Girl, when I was doing Gold Digger. And I was pushing them shits relentlessly, like, like it was the best thing ever. That's when everybody started promoting it because I had that confidence. You feel me? Hmm. And you enjoyed yeah. it, right? Yeah. That's the main thing. Okay, All right, cool. man. I'm gonna hop off. But it was really nice talking. So yeah.